it's on, baby. Welcome to Car Stars. The design work, the detail work, and to have a flaw like that to ruin it, I mean, it's a no-go. It's a no-go. I'm done for. I just start doubting myself, and I don't know why. I can feel my heart beating. At this point, I'm just trying not to, you know, mess it up. We have three artists competing to see who can make the dopest OTE Tops cars highlighting the transformative new lead. All the contestants' cards will be available exclusively on tops.com. And the winner will advance to the finals for a chance to win that $10,000 band. I need that money. And I hope they're ready, because the clock starts now. Today, we're chefing up a card on the French phenom, Alexander Saar. I got just turned 17 years old, but at seven feet tall, he plays like a grown man. I'm talking constant boards, ferocious D, and a sweet jumper. Alex is one of the most promising young hoopers in the game and a top prospect in the 2024 NBA draft. He's a huge presence on the court. <laughs> Our competitors are going to need to design a card that does this big baller justice. Oh, you put that, that's real fire. All right, here we go, baby. This is something we haven't seen. So Nicolette is painting on a piece of basketball leather. That is crazy. I still haven't wrapped my head around the fact that I am going to be making a Topps trading card. Like, my name is Nicolette Arnitz and I'm from Lake Elsinore, California. I'm gonna win this competition because I am bringing something to the table that nobody has seen before. I am gonna be painting on basketball leather. I really wanna try to use this photo shoot with Alex to get to know him a little bit, find out something that I can add into the card that can be unique. Like the neighborhood I'm from is called Toulouse. Like, Toulouse, yeah. You know Toulouse? Yeah. I definitely consider myself an underdog. Can we go from this way so we can kind of get a space? I'm a little nervous, but I have been an underdog before. Yeah, that was it, that was it. I think we got it there. I'm ready for the green screen. I played on USC's beach volleyball team. I was a walk-on. My coach, she straight up said, I didn't think you're ever gonna play. I ended up being the team that clinched our national championship my senior year. You got all the shots you want in here? Yeah, I think so. I definitely don't like to lose, so I came here to win. Oh, Portia looks pretty sick. Look at the details. Wow. I am going up against digital artists who can make a mistake, press one button, it's undone. For the old painter over here, I can't do that. I will be using every minute of those four hours. My heart's literally oh, beating while I'm drawing. Yeah, cause oh, it's like he's ripping off the France flag. Or yeah, something. and he's like OTE here. Uh -huh. I've never drawn anything in a four hour time span. I can feel my heart beating. I don't know if the same pressure is felt with the other contestants. My name is A.G. Davis, and I'm from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm going to go with more like the, the strong, powerful yeah. superheroes. I think I'm going to win the competition because my why is definitely my two boys. A little six-year-old, a little three-year-old at home. Everything that I do is with them in mind. You're hanging on the rim. It's like right here. A little low angle. Yeah, I'm really hoping that my art can shine through them. It's perfect, man. Let's go to the green screen. $10,000 would be amazing to me. What I can do with my kids, with them, with the money, and paying for bills. I think that's good. That would just mean a lot to me. Just to represent your country. So, you know, you holding the flag like this. He's from France, and uh, I definitely want to incorporate that into my art. It's cool, man, you know? It's home. I'm going to win because I want to make sure that it's a complete piece. The overtime vibes, the tops, basketball card vibes, along with Alex's vibes. I'm feeling really confident about it. McFly has been over there quiet, but he's, he's, he's he, might be an assassin, man. He, that's what I'm thinking. He's locked in. He's just yep. going to do what he needs to do, and it's going to get done. My sense of time is f***ed up right now. <laughs> My name is McFly. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm going to win this competition because I'm different. My style is different. What do you want to do first? Mm, I don't know. We started in the photo shoot. I'm really anxious. The tension is really building up. This is the first time working with the green screen, and I don't know really how to tackle the situation. I'm just like, what can we do? Is it just portraits? Is it uh, close I don't know what the hell's going on. All close to you, yep. I don't want to do anything that everyone else is doing. I just figured out, you know, just go with the flow. I'm adaptable, like I can form to any situation. I feel like that's my strong point. My dad played baseball in the army and we moved around a lot. I'm into the Japanese animation. Kind of want to bring 
Japan to the France. Something flashy. I was born in London. Then we moved to Hawaii, California, Texas, Virginia. I ended up in Florida. You, know, you kind of get closed off from these type of situations. During those times, I would just draw every chance I got. Oh, I think he got it. I feel like I'm the favorite because I'm bringing a different style. There's not many artists that know how to bridge the gap between anime and then American culture. We're done here. Let's uh, wrap it up. My car was going to just pop. All right, y'all, we have three hours left. Oh my gosh, it's been an hour already? It's been an hour. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so quiet in there, I needed some type of sound. McFly, I'm gonna need you to turn that up a little bit. Oh, put me on the spot. <laughs> McFly is one of the artists that I am nervous to go against and that I wish was not in my round. He has such a unique style. He has worked for so many people. Give me that something right, something I wanna do, do. Hey, Big Fly. Yes, sir. You over there singing? I was. It's kind of intimidating a little bit because he must be feeling pretty calm. He's in his own zone, just singing away. At this point, I'm trying my best to stay locked into my own piece. All right, guys, you have two hours left. Oh my God. Adrian, what's good? Good, y'all. I can't wait to see the end results, man. This looks way better in person than it did Thanks. back there. What is that in the background? That is a bridge that's located in Toulouse. I am able to add something that maybe the other competitors didn't. I don't know if they caught that he was from Toulouse. He absolutely lit up about his hometown, so I really wanted to add that and just make this card mean something for him, too. We were actually talking about what you were going to put on the chest. My whole idea was he's coming from France to here and like he's here to play for Overtime Elite. So he's going to rip off his France jersey. It's going to show off the OTE logo. It's like, hey, I'm here to play for OTE. That's one thing I didn't want to do. Like, oh, he's from France. Probably likes France. Like, I don't want to do anything that everyone else is doing. These are going stupid. These three are definitely different from what we've seen so far this week. Very different. Super Bowl of sports car customization. The clock is ticking. You have one hour left. I look over and I see AG. He's doing the same digital format I, that I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out, like, oh, is he making good time? What type of aspect is he doing the, the drawing in? I look over at McFly and he looks totally chill, man. So it kind of worries me a little bit because I'm over here all stressed out. What's up, man? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm working on the last part of the Peace. You're good on time now. Yeah. I'm feeling confident right now because I'm making great time. McFly is confident. He is like just absolutely locked in, working on his stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on right now? I feel that clock ticking. It's just me and my basketball leather. In the middle of these two digital artists who have created some amazing work and I am feeling like that underdog. Damn, I really like that one too. I know, bro. Can we pick them all? Can we pick them all? Feels like the finals. This is like, it feels like the finals right now. I feel good. Yes, sir. Feeling confident. <laughs> There's only 30 minutes left. Hey, Kenny, we made a decision. Already? Yeah, we decided we're gonna let you just choose. Me? Yeah. Are they all just popping? Is that oh, what Oh man, we love all of them. I'm gonna use every minute of that four hours that I possibly can. At this point, I'm just trying not to, you know, mess it up. 30 minutes left, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm not really worried about the clock. Put one foot in front of the other one. It's, it's all you gotta do is just keep pushing. Once I get in the mode, I'm like zoned out. I'm not gonna mess up. Oh, yo, okay. What happened, what happened? Ah, uh, okay. We have a potentially What's really big mistake? important thing. Oh, man, that? you can't do that. Placing the text, that is the hardest part. And I'm trying to figure out what area it looks good. I'm turning it, what colors to use. That's like stressful for me. McFly has spelled Alex's first name wrong. We're missing an, an N. He needs to fix that. If you spell the player's name wrong. I mean, it's a no-go. It's a no-go. Oh, man. I'm really hoping he notices. Yeah, breaking my heart right now, man.
At this point, I, I feel like I've got every detail, pretty much completed the whole piece. Everything I, I do with my art is pretty much accurate. So I still got some more to do here. I just try to clear my thoughts, get my breathing down, get my heart rate down. I know the clock's ticking. This 10 minutes left, I'm feeling good. Like, I feel like I've already finished it. Right in time, they're about to finish up. All right. Let's go check them out, bro. Damn, that's dope. That's your car, man. All right, I see the French flag and everything. Yeah. All I want to know is that he recognizes this bridge. Damn, with the basketball? Yeah. Oh, you put that. All right, now that's real fire. <laughs> Thank you. That's dope. And I just get so much joy in that moment. Alice comes around, he sees the car. I know he's going to like it. I mean, it looks dope. If I like it, I know he's going to like it. What's up, man? What it is? Oh, you want to look at it? No one likes their name, but it's spelled wrong. You might say, who's that? This is kind of a practice round for me, if I can make it on to the next round. Practice round, huh? If the opportunity presents itself, like, yes. No disrespect to anyone else, though. None taken. Ah, uh, take it. It's one minute to go, and I feel like I've done what I came here to do. I'm done. I'm just adding stuff, extra I'm not sure if McFly's going to catch it. I don't think he, I don't think he's going to go. Nicolette, I'm getting a little stressed for her because I don't know if she's going to be able to complete it. I just start doubting myself, and I don't know why. We have one minute to be able to touch this, and then it's done. As the clock's ticking down, I will be holding that paintbrush down to the very last second. 10, 9, 8. Kings count down, and I'm just chilling. I put the pin back on the iPad, and I'm just waiting for it to be finished. 7, 6, Five. It's like when your mom tells you, as long as you tried your best, and that's all you can do. Four, three, two, one. The competition is officially over. Hands up. We're sitting there, and we're cheering, and we're super excited. Woo! Pens are down, and I'm feeling like I did the best that I could do. Good job, guys. And I'm like, wow. I spelled his name wrong. Fly, what's going on over there? I fing spelt his name wrong. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. My heart shatters for McFly. I physically keel over. That's a deal breaker, right? It's pretty important to spell the name right. You can't spell his name wrong. Ugh. At this point, I'm feeling like I just fell off my bike and scraped my knee. I'm done for. No, the stakes are really high, man. So we're going to see how the judges feel about that. We are going into the back room while the judges deliberate. I'm just thinking it's down to two now. I'm just feeling proud, feeling excited, feeling pretty confident that the judges might pick my piece. All right, judges, it's time to make a decision. First, I want to hear from our guest expert. Agent, how you living up in the VIP suite? Hey, what's up, guys? Those artists cooked up some dope cards. For sure. Tell us what you're thinking. Nicolette's card is like the definition of creativity. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. I loved AG's card. It's something that I personally would buy. It caught my attention. And McFly, <laughs> hey man, that might be a winner. <laughs> Sam and Raphael, I know what I would do, but it's your call. Thank you. But this decision is gonna be made by these two judges sitting next to me. What are you thinking? All right, Roth, so we gotta address the elephant in the room. Probably the biggest mistake you can make when designing a sports card. He spelled out his name wrong. It's unfortunate, because it's yeah. a beautiful card. It's the best card I've ever seen. It happens more often than people think. You just see it, and like, you don't even really notice it. It just is what it is. Life. This card here is at the, at the head of his class. Like if you pull this out of a pack, you're excited. We've seen basic traditional sports cards for so long. So now we get a chance to see something outside of the box, and that's why I can appreciate this. At this point, I just hope that my card is way better than everyone else's and that they'll look past it. Fingers crossed. The design work, the detail work, and to have a flaw like that to ruin it, kind of sucks, man. Okay, so this is AG's card. This is the first card we've seen that has a mix of a drawing and an actual image. Tell me about it. I do love the aesthetics of this card. I love this glass effect, like he's breaking out of something. He actually added the French flag back here. He added some flair there. Incorporating the French flag was definitely a thing that I wanted to do for Alex. Home is where your heart is. Some things I didn't like, honestly, is the fact that we've seen cards like this before. I agree, I don't think this is a particularly innovative card. This card looks like something that we could pull out of a pack today. All right, guys, so let's go check out Nicolette's card. I mean, this car is a banger. First of its kind that I've seen. Nicolette drew on basketball leather. This medium really makes it visually stick out versus other cards. All these things that I really wanted to show are being noticed. No one else in the competition has used the player's city. 
it's about time that somebody did it. Super stoked that the judges see that. I don't love how the two images of Alice are facing in different directions. You kind of don't know where to look. A lot of open space here. Maybe she could have utilized a little bit better. Man, you guys are gonna have a tough decision to make. Should I bring the customizers back out here? Sure. Yeah. It's time to announce the winner. We're getting called back out to our tables and we're walking down the hall and my heart is pounding. I'm definitely an underdog. It's not a position I am unfamiliar with. I am here to prove some people wrong. I'm waiting for my boys to meet everything. You know, I know how excited I would be just to show them that I won. It mean the world to me. Just one of the moments I'll definitely remember for a long time. Uh, I want to go to the finals so I can just keep inspiring artists on this big stage. All the contestants' cards will become OTE Tops cards, which will be available for purchase exclusively on Tops.com. The only today's champ will advance to the final round for a chance to win a $10,000 prize. And the winner of this round of card stars. He is going slow as can be. Advancing to the finals. Oh, I need, I need that money. People are depending on me to win. I got to win this competition. Oh, man, I'm feeling really confident about it. I'm hoping to hear my name. Be really excited to move on to the next round. Is Nicolette. <laughs> I look at the judges and I say, are you serious? Congratulations. When Nicolette wins, seen her piece, I would have voted for her too. It's, it came out really dope. When he doesn't say my name, surprising me, but I was definitely happy for Nicolette. The only regret I have is spell check. It's gonna haunt me in my dreams. Congratulations. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. I am in shock. I am uh, in shock. <laughs> Nicolette did her thing in that basketball leather. She can have to face some tougher competition though in the finals. The OTE Tops cards this group just created are available exclusively right now at tops.com. Check them out and catch us next time on Card Stars. On the next episode of Card Stars. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this pressure. She got confidence. I like it. It's a whole new ball game. Just dragging the photo into Photoshop. It was giving me errors. Clock is ticking down, man. Are you nervous? I got to get through this round. This is, this is it. No looking back. If I pulled it out of a pack, I'd be pretty excited. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are nonstop and we're just getting started. Get like me and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.